Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Teen Angel. And we're going to start off on a C major chord. Let me play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string, third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really heavy. And this isn't in the recording, but if you wanted to, you could kind of throw in a second fret on the A string to kind of help it lead into our second chord, which is the A minor chord. And then we play A minor. First finger goes to the B string, first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that'll give you your clearest sound with that. And then from that A minor, you'll kind of hear this move to a third fret on the low E string G note, kind of third fret on the low E, to lead into our next chord, which is the F major. And the way you play F major, the way you do this is a first fret bar. And we'll talk about an easier way to play this too. But then you put second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really happy. And if you're just starting out, you just want to avoid bar chords. You could use an F major seven, the way you play F major seven. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major seven chord and it sounds really groovy happy. And then from the F on the intro, actually, it kind of sounds like you go into something called a G suspended chord. And normally you do this off of a G major chord. When you play G major, normally you do this first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the low E string, third, third finger on the high E string, third fret. If you strum all those together, it's one way you can play a G major chord. Now another way to do it is to kind of do a second finger on the A string, second, third finger on the low E string, third, and the pinky on the high E string, third fret. And what that does is kind of open it up for you to put first finger on the B string, first fret, and move the second finger to the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like G suspended chord. So you want to think about doing the G sus and then kind of resolving that to a G major at the end. So through that whole intro, you could kind of work it around bass notes too. You could work the A string as, as kind of your lowest note on the C chord to go to second fret on the A, and then A minor with the A string as the lowest note third fret on the low E for the G note, and then kind of do your F major, and then from there we go to our G sus, and then our G major chord. So it's kind of a cool little thing when they record. And then from there, then we go into our first verse. Our first verse starts on the C major, and then we go to F major, and it does kind of sound like you just do just down strokes through that part. And then the C major, and then an F major. A C major and then an F major. And then at the very end of our verse, we kind of pick it up on it on a G major chord. And there's a couple different strumming options you may want to think about for that. One could be just kind of working eight downs, and you could kind of work that with muting if you wanted to. And I'm kind of picking the flat of my right hand and kind of land it on the saddle to make that a little sneaky. And kind of an eight down count on each chord can be kind of a cool thing on that last part where you get the G. C, kind of at the end of the verse. Or, one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the G and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. So those last two chords, you may want to work it that way, kind of that G, C. Or a cool variation of that can be a down, up, down, up, up, down, up. If we tried that on the G a lot, you'd have down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. So through that whole verse, you'd have kind of that C, and C, and C, and, and then you pick it back up on the G. into our chorus part and our chorus mixes up some things but there's one spot where we kind of do our G with just kind of half our strum pattern we want to do that with just a down down up kind of help we have our G with our whole pattern then we kind of half it and then we go to a C major chord with our whole strum pattern and then there's kind of a C hit at the very end of the chorus so through the whole chorus you'd have the C G And then from
from there, then we'll be going into our next verse. Now, if you dig on kind of strumming through the verse, actually, in the recording, it sounds, it sounds like those downs, you could kind of fill that time with your, your strum pattern. And something else that I like to add to the strum pattern is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw a bass for the chord. So on the C, you'd have the A for the bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A for the bass. On the G, or F and par, you'd have the low E for the bass. F major 7, you have the D for the bass, and on the G, you have the very for the bass. So if we strum through the verse, then we have kind of that C, F, C, F, C, F, G, C. And then from there, then we'll be going into our next chorus. So we tried that with basses. We have the C, G, G, C, C, G, and then kind of half a G, the C, or we're kind of breaking that up. And kind, of, you know, kind of big down can be kind of cool at the end of that too. And then from there, then we go into our next verse. And what you may want to do, though, is kind of take all these ideas, or if you know other places to play these chords to, or other licks around these chords to, you know, feel free to kind of take this lesson and embellish it any way you want to. So you want to kind of play around and kind of see what you can say with it, too. And then from that verse, then we'll be going into our next chorus. Back on C. Kind of for our outro, we end up back on our intro part. So you may want to go back to kind of that C, A minor, G, F, and then I would think about doing the G sus G because I just like it. I think in the recording they just do the G, and then you're back to kind of a big C major chord at the very end. But that's the basics of how you could strum through Teen Angels. So good luck.